So this is a rigid hydraulic bender, the one we use at college. We have where the hydraulic fluid is, we've got the on-off handle here at the side, and then we've got the handle that causes the hydraulic ram to pump in. So I can push it down, the ram comes in, pushes through these two end parts. I can take them out in a moment just to show you. Move the wing back, I've got these two blocks, the pipe comes in, I put the wheel head on it, half inch, and then I can line my centre pipe up onto it. So the mark I want is the one that I came back half an inch on. I put that right on the centre, and I've showed you with a sticker here where the nib is on that wheel. When I put the hydraulic bender in, it comes up to the two blocks. That keeps pushing through. Eventually, these blocks, when I've got the pins in, stop them from pushing forward and pushing off, and then it bends the pipe. On top of these blocks, I've got zero to 90 already marked. That gives me an idea of how many degrees I'm going within the ballpark, roughly. To release the hydraulic ram, I turn the handle towards me, and the ram retracts back in, and then I can get the pipe out. The only thing with this bender is, I've got to have this, this wing on to give it a bit more strength and I've got to put these two pins in. These are all marked up for the size of the pipe. We have right up to two inch and it decreases down to three eighths. So the pipe you're using is half inch. So the two pins are on the half inch sides. I've got the two blocks with the curved ends facing towards the hydraulic ram.